author of Real Estate Reality and founder of My Investment Services, LLC, Mr. Gary Wilson. Thank you. Okay, I want you to raise your hands if the answer to the next question is an affirmative, a positive. Have you ever lived in a house or an apartment? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Many of you. Well, my first year of college roommate, his name is Socrates. He also lived in a house. And uh, we met one night at orientation. It was right before our freshman year in college. Became fast friends, went to a keg party that night, decided, you know what? We got one thing in common, beer. So we'll be roommates. The next day at the student hall, we went and ran into our parents, who ironically had just also met each other, and they were becoming fast friends. We thought, well, this is prophetic. So we did become roommates. Four years later, I graduate. We had this big idea, since we're already living down at the beach, we're going to rent a house and live at the beach and have parties, all the kind of fun stuff. 23-year-old guys, that's what we do, right? Well, his dad said, no, no, you're, you're going to buy a house. We went out and actually found one that next weekend, looked at one house, made one offer, got it accepted on a two-bedroom house, one block from the ocean. We thought, we're going to have parties. We're going to be chick magnets. Right, guys? Yep. We called his dad. We're, we're excited. His dad said, don't be morons. Don't buy that house. Let some other moron buy the house. You're going to buy a house that's going to make you some money. Okay? And we did. Several months later, we did buy our first house. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, rent out the other two rooms, lived essentially for free, okay, using creative financing techniques. Anybody ever heard that? You don't have to have cash. You don't have to have credit. Anybody heard those stories before? Yeah. So I'm here to actually dispel that myth. It actually does work, but I'll tell you more about that. So in any case, uh, two years later, I get married, uh, moved to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, have two children. Ten years goes by, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm not born to be sitting at a desk at a corporate office. Anybody know what I'm talking about? So I did something about it. I decided to listen to what Mr. DeMeda taught me because he didn't give me a fish. He never gave us a dime. He actually taught us how to fish. You know what I'm talking about? So in five years, I bought 250 units, built a title business, an appraisal business, a property management business, and most importantly, a brokerage business where I taught real estate agents how to help you and I buy real estate. Think that might be a good idea? So during that time, up to that point, I've been using all the Carlton Sheets techniques, right? No money down, owner financing, all that kind of stuff. Then this big thing called a recession hit. You guys remember that? Okay. And we were okay, but it wasn't okay for a lot of other folks. And during that time, I found out I was going to be going through this long, terrible, horrible divorce. <laughs> You know, as opposed to there's really pleasant, fun divorces you always hear about, right? <laughs> so uh, in the middle of all that, I, I broke two of my vertebrae, lost the ability to walk. My right leg was not functioning for months. I literally couldn't walk. And my wife's brilliant attorney convinced the judge that we should be selling most of our assets at the bottom of the recession. I said, over my dead body. You know what my ex-wife said? Okay. <laughs> so, so obviously I got wise and I sold the properties. I bought my freedom got a lot of money, and I learned a valuable lesson, is, which is this. You can still use creative purchasing techniques, creative financing techniques, if you buy the properties for cash first. Can I get an amen? So I went from down here buying the cheap, crappy stuff and debt up to my eyeballs to up here buying better properties, CC plus properties for cash, and then pulling my money out later by being creative. Which is better, guys, the cheap, crappy stuff or the good stuff up here? Which would you like? Good stuff. Good stuff, right? So what I learned is there's two ways to pay the success tax in life, okay? You can pay it the long, hard way, which is paying it multiple times over a long period of time, trying to do things yourself, right? Or you can pay it one time. You only cry once when you pay for the good stuff once. Learn how to do it right so that you don't make all the mistakes. Instead, you make profit. Would you like that? It's just like working with Clint Arthur. I mean, we're all here because of Clint Arthur, right? Any one of us can learn this and be on television maybe once in our lifetimes. But if you pay the right people the, for the right information, you can do things the right way and have lots more success much more quickly. Can I get a yes or a yes? yes? Okay. So here's the deal. Back to real estate. Uh, when it comes to investing, you definitely need, you need three things. You've got to have the right education, right? You've got to have the right information, and you've got to take the right action. Because the, the formula of success is, number one, apply the right information by using the right education. Number two, applying the right action so number three, all of us can finally go out there and buy our own properties, building success, wealth and income for us and our families to support us for a long time. Can I get an amen? amen. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.